Hey folks, Technivorous here, and we are back with another Cure question. Today's question is from Angie Bentley, and she's asking, if I'm printing a cookie cutter, and I want the top end, or blade end, to be sharper than the wall, where do I go to change those settings? I want my wall to be 1.2, but blade end 0.4 millimeters. So, what she's saying is she wants a sharp tip on the top or bottom of her walls, probably the top, because I assume there's a lip on these cookie cutters as well. So. Um, unfortunately, I do not know of a way to do this in Kira with the random shapes you'll be using for cookie cutters because it requires you to taper that edge. However, if you have the time, it could be done using modifiers and rotating them just very, very carefully and slowly, um, but it's going to take a lot of time to do complex geometry. Your best bet is to take the item that you're printing into some sort of 3D object manipulation software. And for this, I'm actually gonna jump out of Kira and show you really quickly what I would do in your situation. So this is Blender. You might've heard me talk about it before. Uh, basically what I did was took the B file for your earring and I went to file, import, STL. And then once I did that, I hit the tab button. Now tab brings me in and out of the edit menus. You can see I missed a little chunk on some of these corners and I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. But basically we're gonna hit tab. And what we did was we used our selection tools to select the edge loop for this whole top face here for the outline of your object. And then I extruded it out a little bit. And once I did that, I was able to do the same thing, selecting the edge loop and making it thinner. So what I did was I, I grabbed the whole edge, which does take time and it's more complex depending on your geometry. Um, and then I hit S and I can scale that up and down. Now I can't get it exact, you can see because of the geometry it changes in this corner more drastically than it changes here. But the wings end up being even and it generally works pretty well. So um, I did not taper these smaller parts and a bit of wo uh, warning this uh, was listed at eight millimeter. I don't know if that's the height, the width, or the depth because I did not measure it. But if you need the height to be exactly eight millimeters, you're gonna wanna hit extrude and then drag into the model to remove a couple millimeters and then hit extrude again to extrude from there back to your original point. So uh, real quickly, if you're new to Blender, I will show you so you can do this to your other items. So what I did was I selected face select mode, which is this one here. And then all you have to do is select one of the faces on your edge. So these ones get really, really tiny. And if you wanna be precise, you're gonna be using these a lot. I would recommend zooming in with your mouse wheel and grabbing the tiniest one you can. For the sake of time, I'm just grabbing the tries on the very edge of this perimeter. So what I'm gonna do is from here, I'm gonna go over to the next one and I'm gonna hold control and click it. That didn't work, it got too long. So we're gonna do one shorter. So uh, control will click that face and then uh, just every few faces along the border and then it'll select the ones in between as well. Now if you make a mistake, you can let go of the keyboard and just hit control Z and it'll go back to the last point where you had a good selection and then you can continue from there. Um, once you have the entire outer edge loop selected like I do almost here. It's pretty good at following it around. Uh, once you have that selected, then you can do E for extrude and you can go in or out. The reason mine is looking wonky is because it is smaller than the part below it, so it's cutting a hole into it. But I can extrude it out further if I want. And then once you do that, uh, if you hit the S button now, it will size the whole thing, which will alter the shape entirely. So we don't want that. So we're gonna undo, and then we're gonna hit this, uh, control, Alt A, excuse me, Alt A. And then we're gonna go back up here and get the edge selection button. Now take note that I'm selecting the outer edge because I want the inner perimeter to match your object. You can bevel this the opposite way, but then you'll end up with a little bit of a lip around the perimeter of your objects, and I don't think you want that. So we're gonna grab the outer edge. Now that I have edge selected here, I'm gonna pick one. And I'm basically gonna go around and do the same thing. Whoops, I hit shift and not control. You have to hold control to get it to select all the ones in between it. Um, 
if you go in too big of a gap, say like this, and your path is off, see how it zigzags into the middle? Like I said, just control Z back and continue to follow the correct edge. Once you have the whole thing selected, then you can scale it down. And as you can see, that's how I got this bevel here. Um, I've done this twice now because I wanted to make sure my method was sound before I jumped in and showed you and I didn't know what I was doing. So um, yeah, that would be the way that I go about this. I hope that you find this helpful. I apologize, guys. I know this isn't really a Kira answer, but it was a Kira question. I think it is best answered by external 3D modeling software. And of course, there are ways to do this with other programs like Fusion and 360, but Fusion 360, excuse me, and others, but Blender is absolutely free for life and definitely worth checking out if you're gonna be doing a lot of modeling or 3D printing. So um, definitely give it a go. You can find it at blender.org. It is completely free to download and use forever, as I said. So if you have any Kira questions, leave them in the comments down below. Please share this playlist out to your friends in your Facebook and Reddit groups because I know a lot of people have found it very helpful and I'm always on the lookout for more people with good questions that I can make a video answer to. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and ring the notification bell so you can get notified every time we post a new video. There's almost 40 videos in this playlist as of right now, and we continue to add to it on a regular basis, so make sure you don't miss anything and hit that notification button, guys. Technivorous out.